Hi, David, they call me MacGyver. Today I'd like to show you how to put in a outlet box on a remodel, um, different than when you're doing new construction. And so I'll show you how to do that. So hang tight and we'll get started. So this is a remodel cut-in box and it's actually got flaps that when you tighten the screws on the other side, these will flip up behind the sheetrock and then you'll tighten it up. So then I place it face against the wall and you see that um, framework of the box. You need to draw a line from there um, all the way down to the bottom. So just stop right at the edge and then do the same thing on the other side of the box. You drive, draw from the top and all the way down. And then I usually just take the, uh, the box and I flip it and just put it right at the edge of those marks and then I'll draw a line across. Do the same thing on the bottom side. That way I've got my outline on the wall of where I'm going to cut my hole. And then we need to get our sheetrock saw and there's different varieties. The one this, this one happens to have a rubber handle on it and it's double bladed. There are uh, wood handled ones with just a single side. You just pop that using your hand, pop it into the sheetrock and then cut it. It's easy to cut the straight lines down. Just keep, keep an eye on it so you're cutting right on the line. Do the same thing for the horizontal ones. Just pop it in there and saw it out. And then I'll dry fit my electrical box just to be sure that I didn't miss my marks any on my line. And there, that screw and that screw we're going to tighten up after we actually put it in. So now I'm going to pop one of the knockouts out and I just use a screwdriver and then kind of pry it. It breaks loose on one end, you pry it and that kind of acts like a Chinese thumb trap where you shove the wire in but you can't pull it out because the plastic digs into it. So you go ahead and get your wire fed through. And this happens to be a, a braided wire. Um, if you're using Romax, you're going you're gonna to have a solid core wire. But this is braided and this is a 14 gauge. And we'll stick our box back in the hole. And after we get the box in the hole, then it's time to get our drill or screwdriver, cordless uh, drill with a Phillips on the end of it. And you snug that up so that flap will grab the back end of that sheetrock and hold the box in the wall. I didn't get that in quite tight. I'll go back and get it in a second. Okay. Checking it. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Then we get our little, this is a Leatherman tool. It's actually an electrician's tool. Uh, Leatherman doesn't sell this particular one. This is a an E4 um, the new one is a ES4, and see that Phillips there? It's an actual Phillips screwdriver. They don't have that on the new one. Um, it's got a pair of scissors on it instead. But uh, this actually has the um, gauge wires written right on the the uh, throat there of the cutters, so you can know which one goes to what. It's nice, sleek little tool. So there's the Phillips that I was telling you about. And I'll leave it in the description down below. I'll leave a link for both that one and the new one. Well, actually, I won't be able to leave it for the, that one because they don't make them anymore, but I'll leave it for the new one, the ES4. Otherwise, you'll have to find a used one on eBay. So we're stripping it back. We'll strip about a three-quarter inch amount back on those. So there's a gold wire, that's the black, there's a silver wire, that's the white, and then the green, of course, is the ground. Now on a solid core, uh, it'll be like a 14-2, then it's just a solid copper wire, there's no green on it, but it's still the ground wire. So we're twisting these in the direction that they're wound, so it's uh, clockwise. And then I'll take my little electrician's uh, tool 
and I'll curl it around there so it goes on the ground wire in the direction the screw goes. That way it pulls the wire in instead of pulling it out. Do the same thing on the uh, white wire for the silver side. Bend it around, get a little curvature on it, hook it on there, and we'll tighten that up again. And then after we get that one tightened, we'll flip her over and we'll go to the black wire, which is the gold um, colored screw. And that's standard on all outlets. So gold is the black, which is power. White is common. And the green is ground. We'll tighten that up. And then I, this is on the back of it. If you have solid core, you'll just shove it into the holes there. The, there's two on each side. Uh, two for the gold and two for the um, silver. And then your ground wire is still going to uh, be wrapped around the green screw. You'll still have to um, wrap that one on there just like that. Now that's been cut off. This is a used outlet. But checking those, making sure they're good. We always put the, the ground lead. That's that center pin. That's the ground lead. We always put it to the bottom. That's the way your outlets and plugs are designed. And we just get these started. We don't shove them all the way in at first because, and we don't want to bend that metal. We just want it up snug against the box. So we just do a little bit at a time until we get it where we want it. And then we put our wall plate on, use a thin flat screwdriver and tighten her up and we're done. Good to go. Well, I'd like to thank you for watching. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please pick, uh, subscribe and click the bell icon. Then every time I come out with a new video, you'll be notified. I'll put a link down in the description for the uh, cut-in box, um, for the remodel cut-in box electrical, and I'll also put a low voltage uh, link in there for a low voltage cut-in box in case you're doing like coax or phone wire or internet or something to that effect. But uh, Again, thanks for watching. You have a great day.